We live in interesting times where the newspaper doesn't actually give you the news anymore. If you want to learn about the news, you go on social media and you see people uploading raw footage from their phones and you get to stay informed that way. But of course, the media doesn't like that and what they prefer is for you to get the editorialized version of the news and they can basically tell you what to think. Uh, more likely, like, what's appropriate to think. Like, if you don't think this way, you may be excommunicated by your group of progressive friends. And it's very telling, like, what they want people to do. Like, for example, the New York Times is suggesting that we need to get rid of voting in order to protect democracy. I guess uh, it's a more uh, interesting system uh, that Germany is having right now. We need to get rid of the uh, most popular or the second most popular party in the country, the AFD, in order to protect democracy. Like, uh, protecting democracy seems to be the ultimate goal, and disempowering the citizens seems to be the way to do it. But the New York Times uh, posted this article which was uh, so mocked, so ridiculed, that they stealthily had to change the title. So now it's called, uh, The Worst People Run for Office, It's Time for a Better Way. But again, it's the same article, like, what they want is to get rid of voting. And you understand this because the uh, journalists are pretty much like the PR arm of the establishment. Now, what the establishment fears the most is losing their power, losing their seats. And as such, they want fascismus. Like, they prefer a dictatorship. They prefer to remain in power forever. Uh, and you can even see in the rhetoric, especially in the United States, like, if you vote Republican, if you vote for the other guy, the nation will collapse. Dark, dark times are ahead of us, etc., etc., so basically what they're talking about is that the ancient Greeks invented democracy and in Athens, many government officials were selected to sortition, a random lottery from a pool of candidates. In the United States, we already use a version of a lottery to select jurors. What if we did the same with mayors, legislators, justice, and even presidents? Okay, so going back to Adam and Eve... In order to prove your point, uh, maybe your point isn't worth proving. First of all, it shows just how incredibly uneducated the writers for the New York Times are. The United States isn't a democracy. It's a constitutional republic. The founding fathers explain why having a democracy is evil. Because then you have like two wolves voting on what sheep to have for dinner. The sheep gets to be disempowered. This is why you have a constitutional republic. And then you also understand that the United States is not even a country in the strict sense of the world. It's a united state. So like many states united to create the USA, meaning that states' rights are more important than that of what the union thinks. Like the union very rarely has a couple of guidelines that forces other states to abide by. But overwhelmingly, the power should be in the state. And within the state, the power should be in the hands of the people. So it's interesting, right? Like, they go back to Adam and Eve to say, oh, well, in Athens they did it this way. Yeah, sure, like, uh, why don't we also apply how they used to punish criminals in Athens, if you like the system so much? Uh, in Sparta, and I think, like, even in Athens, most people were allowed to wear weapons. Um, in the United States, you're talking about restricting weapons and gun control. I, I don't think, like, in Athens, they, they had any restrictions whatsoever on any type of weaponry. Like, as long as it existed and a person wanted to wield it, they could. Mandatory military service, so on and so forth. Patriotism. Uh, they didn't have open borders in Sparta. Like, like should we apply all, all of the things that uh, people from ancient times used to do? No, you just want to pick and choose, right? So, basically, you, you, want, like, you want a lottery for the people that you elect. I can't think of anything worse, by the way. And there are, like, so many other uh, suggestions that would pass. Like, for example, having term limits for politicians. Like, many people would be okay with that. Like, if the president has a term limit, why shouldn't a senator? Why is it that the United States ends up with the geriatric squad where you have, like, politicians over the age of 80 when they should be at home enjoying their golden years in retirement um, and, and allow for new younger people to take their place? Right? Why, why don't you advocate for that? Oh, it's because the whole purpose is to protect those people. It's to protect those people in office, to make sure that they stay in power for as long as they humanly can. Uh, and it, it's to try to, I suppose, 
prepare the public in the unlikely event that the Republican wins um, for them to, to justify why it's wrong, to justify why it's evil, even though they have been democratically elected, right? So when your side wins, you publish articles about the sanctity of our elections, you publish articles about why it's evil to even question your elections, and when your side is about to, well, maybe it doesn't look good in the polls and uh, we, we may have uh, a slim chance of winning, Oh, that it's about, like, let's justify why it's okay to persecute our opposition, why, why it's okay to, um, <clears throat> in fact, why, why the entire system is, is not correct, because, like, voting is evil and whatnot, right? Worse people run for office due to voting. And, and not to mention, like, the democracy in ancient Greece. Yeah, like, sure, they started it. Like, I agree with that. Uh, but it wasn't a good system. Like, no one wants to live in ancient Greece. If you had the time machine right now, and, you know, you'd be like, okay, well, do you want to live in it? No, no one would. And I'm not even talking about uh, the technology. Like, let's assume that the ancient Greeks would have, like, the access to modern technology and you'd enjoy all of the, uh, the things that you're enjoying today. That's not the issue. Like, the, the, the actual issue is that the system was very brutal, very harsh, and it would shock most liberals today. So apparently they say that randomly chosen leaders were more effective. They led more democratically because they have a tendency to assert their personal superiority. When you're anointed by the group, it can go to your head. I'm the chosen one. No, like like you, you get to see in real life what happens with people who win the lottery. They, they immediately think that they're better than others. Like I actually read a study about this. The, the moment a person is placed in a position of power most people are going to think that they're better than others. I mean, you, you can even look at this when you're playing World of Warcraft or any similar game, right? Where you're running a guild and you're managing more than one person or, or you're running a Discord server, even a better example, right? So you're running a Discord server and let's say it has like a thousand people in it. So it's a medium-sized Discord server. The moment you give moderation to someone or, or if you're running a subreddit, the moment you made someone a mod, those people just inherently become assholes. It's human nature, right? It's not that he's a good person or a bad person. Like, eventually, they are going to become an asshole. And it's just like a little bit of power on a tiny corner of the internet. Now, now imagine allowing people to become uh, politicians over millions or hundreds of millions of people through lottery. It's going to be the same thing. Now, I'm not saying that the current system is good, by the way. Like, sure, you know, politicians are corrupt and uh, even the, the modern system isn't good, but it's the best we have. So the New York Times completely embarrassed themselves. Uh, I will make uh, another video right after this, a live stream. And if you guys watch this live, there's like in the upper right corner a link that you can click and it will take you to the live stream. And we're going to read the entire article as well as the people in the comment section. The New York Times has uh, their comment sections open for people who pay for this publication, so it's going to be really interesting to see. And don't forget, just click the link, and it will take you to my live stream right after this. Take care.